What do we have here? Today we have an unbagging on today's episode of what you can get at the hardware store. A knife you can get at the hardware store. Some shit like that. Guys, you can get at Lowe's that don't suck. So what I got was, or is, a CRKT Pilar Pilar Large. I think it's Pilar. Maybe. I don't know. Let's use the CRKT. I mean the CJRB to open the CA CRKT. The CJRB to open the CRKT. There we go. I said the words right. It looks like maybe someone had opened it and returned it. I'm not sure. Although it's still got the little tippity doo on it, so maybe not. Okay. How's the action on this guy? I've never had a pillar before. Seems okay. Oh yeah, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not drop shutty. Got a little bit of a double clutch. Because your thumb is right here, and this is hitting here. And to get out of the way, yeah, it's pretty bad double clutch, except you can kind of push past it with just a shake, I think. Yep, there you go. So that's not bad. Flipper tab works all right. I feel like the flipper tab, you have to really give it a good hard flick. How about the thumb? Not the best, but not bad. Yeah, not bad. Just got to learn how to do it. Reverse flick is okay. So the action is not bad. It's a uh, stainless steel uh, frame lock. But I like how they did the uh, little relief cuts there for the lock. That's neat. Looks like it has a reversible clip, which I will be reversing. Because I don't do this tip down carry so much. The sheep's foot type blade is nice. Did it come sharp? Let's see, I had a piece of paper laying around here somewhere. Let's see. Not bad, not bad at all. Good job, guys. How's the air goes on it? Man, that clip is poking me right in the center of the hand. Like, right there. Let's see if I can, I bet if I just hold it tight for a minute. Yep, I'm going to put a mark on my hand just holding it. Do to do to do do to do to do to do. Right there. It's got a little dent in my hand. I have a lot of dents in my hand, but that's from the thing. Now you can kind of see it's a little red. Finger choil. Huge. That is a big one. Very usable to choke up on. Mm hmm. Very good for doing those kind of cuts with this nice sheep's footy blade. They could have chamfered the edges on that bean hole a little better. A little sharp. Actually pretty sharp. I think I'll be doing that though. We'll be hitting that with a Dremel or something. And those are very sharp on that bottom edge. Top edge, not as bad, but still pretty sharp. Bottom edge is almost like a blade. Like, let's see if we can hear it. That's like cutting skin off my thumb. Mm -hmm. There's the skin off my thumb right there. <laughs> I could trim my nails on it, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gross. So, how's this blade feel? Not exactly thin at the edge, but. Nice, tall, flat grind. It's going to be fairly slicely, even though it's not uh, thin at the edge. Weight is not terrible. I'm going to say it's around four ounces. So, for a smaller knife, it's not uh, 
It's not super heavy, but it's definitely not light. Let's see. I just picked up this um, Cansep Pelican. I think they're about the same size. I don't know. Pelican's a bit bigger. Not much, though, really. Just a hair bigger. <clears throat> Blades are not much different. Yeah, just a hair bigger. This one is titanium frame lock, so it should be a little lighter. And it is. It's probably a half an ounce or three quarters of an ounce lighter, something like that. Let's see. What else do I have to compare it to? How about a sheepdog? Another one with a bean hole. So we got the two bean hole knives here. This is the full size sheepdog. I bet this one is pretty close or just a hair bigger than the small sheepdog. So CRKT Pillar, large, even though it's not terribly large. Yeah, not bad at all. For a steel frame lock. With, oh, it does have some milling. Let's look inside there. Look at that. We got some skeletonizing on there on the show side. Well, it would have been nice if they'd have put like a little insert in there or something. Just a little better. A little G10 insert, something. It's a little slick. Um, maybe something like board tape. A little piece of board tape on there would be nice. Just something to grip just a little bit. Maybe a bit, a bit more of it back here too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hate it. Good job, CRKT, on most of it. Need a little more chamfering there. Um, could have gone a little lighter, a little more skeletonizing on this side, but that's money. Time is money. Every new maneuver with your milling is money. Oh, what's the steel on this one? I think it's 8CR, if I remember right. Uh, oh, it's a Voxnase design. And that's kind of why it looks like a giant mouse or uh, a fox knife or one of those, I think. Yeah, it's kind of neat though. I like it. CRKT Pillar Large. Whoa, wait, what just happened? This knife just transmutated. Or I like I did a couple of things to it and then, you know, stopped the camera. So, I don't like that real roundy round end on the blade. I like it kind of a little more pointy. So, I gave it kind of a, uh, what would you call that? Is it a bowie cut? No, kind of a saber. I don't know what it is, man. It looks like a pirate knife or something. And I did a little babbling on the edge there with the uh, router. Could do a little better with that, actually. Oh, no, that's okay. Where am I feeling a sharp edge? Well, this, actually, top edge is a little bit sharp. It's not bad, though. It's not really perfect, what I did, though. Could probably hit it with a little hand sandpaper and make it a little better, uh, or something. But you can kind of see it's not perfect, but it feels a lot better. It's not quite as sharp. It doesn't feel like a cheese grater. Mmm. We took that thumb stud made it a lot smaller so it's not sticking way out like this um, like if you look back at the video you'll see how far it stuck out and it kind of got you know out there and kind of pointy and there's still enough to get a hold of and open it easy no problem and then to get a little bit better grip on it we use some uh, board tape or grip tape not board tape it's um like stuff you put on steps to keep from slipping on it anti-slip tape whatever it's like a real thick uh, tape that's kind of textured and I heat I cleaned it real good with alcohol first because it's you know it's a slippery surface it's not going to stick super well unless you got it real clean and then I heated it up too with a heat gun just enough to keep it you know warm to the touch pretty pretty warm and then heated up the sticker too and then put it on and then let it cool so it feels like it's on there pretty good and yeah, who knows it might fall off but it's staying on for now and when you put it in your pocket uh, well, oh shoot, I gotta switch this over. So just imagine that this is down here. So when you put it in your pocket and you go to pull it out, you're not gonna slip now on that slippery metal. You'll be able to grab this. 
let's see, do I have some tools? Let me go ahead and switch that. Um, switch that to clip out right now. There it is. All right. Let's find out. I think it's a T6. T5, T6. Let's try that. There we go. You know, some pocket clips trying to switch around might be a pain in the butt because maybe they got, uh, maybe the screws are coming in from the inside. You know, could be other problems, but I think this one's one of those uh, pretty easy ones. Looks like the clip lands right on the lock bar. So then you wonder, does the clip add a little pressure to the lock bar? If the clip is putting pressure down hopefully it is because it wouldn't be a very good clip if it didn't put some pressure down and lock bar probably could use a tad more pressure it's a little the detent's a little weak okay nice and snug okay Oh boy. So, <laughs> right where this uh, clip falls, right on the very edge right there. So it actually kind of clicks in. Clicks in and out. So, that's kind of annoying. <sighs> okay. What can we do about that? We can narrow up the end of it a little bit so that it doesn't catch on that corner. So let's do that. We're going to take it back off. Hard to say if if this clip will leave the lock bar alone and stop getting caught on it, or if it will keep getting caught on it. I might be able to kind of pry it over a little bit as I tighten it to kind of get it to not be... Ay, ay, ay. To not be up against that lock bar. Leave it some leave it some room. Okay. I think that's it. So there's a little bit of space between the lock bar or the clip and that little corner right there now, so yeah, that should be better. Let's see, how's it feel? You can feel that thing poking a little bit, but not as bad as the other way. And this feels a lot better without that long flipper tab sticking up. And it's more pokey than it was before, which is always good. Knives should be pokey, not stubby, in my opinion. So that's the modified Pillar Large with the clip reversed and the sticky tape or the um, non-slip tape uh, and the chamfered edge and the reduced slipper tab and now this $39 knife is worth at least $45 I think what do you think Put a comment in. Let me know. Have a nice day.